3.7 factoring a sum and difference of cubes this is the last lesson in chapter 3 and a fairly easy one for you today so let's say we wanted to factor x cubed minus 27 now the big difference here remember we did sum and difference of cubes or I mean squares back in grade 10 um, but we didn't have sum and difference we only had difference of squares but with cubes you can have a sum and a difference of them because as you know you can take the um, you can cube a negative number and get a negative answer or you could cube a positive number and you still get a positive answer so that's why we have the option for both sum and difference so let's say I ask you to factor this and there's a little formula that we're going to write down here in a minute but let's say you don't remember the formula which often happens when you're under stressful situations like a unit test but because your um, division skills are going to be so sharp by that point that you could figure out what the sum and difference of a cubic function should be. So let's go to the factor theorem and say, okay, well, what would make this equal to zero? So the factors of 27, uh, 1, 3, 9. So you know that 3 cubed is 27, so don't even waste your time. So f at 3 is zero. f at 3 equals 0. So we would let this equal to f at x first. So f at 3 equals 0, therefore x minus 3 is a factor. And then you can do your synthetic division. Now remember, you have to be careful because there's no, there's no squared or x value. We just have the cubic and the, um, the constant. So I'm going to write 1 for my x cubed, 0 for my x squared, 0 for my x and minus 27 for my constant and then I'm going to put x minus 3 as a factor so that means I have 3 here I bring down the 1 I multiply I add them up I get 3 I multiply I get 9 I add them up I get 9 and then times 3 is 27 I add it up and I get 0 which is what you're supposed to get here right so that means that f at x is equal to x minus 3 times x squared minus, or sorry, plus 3x plus 9. Okay, so that's, um, that's kind of the first thing that you should do. And then we're going to try to make some sense between the actual formula and this. We're going to do this one first. Now, what would I have to have here? F at what would give me 0? Hopefully you're saying minus 4 because minus 4 cubed is negative 64 plus 64 is 0, so x plus 4 is a factor. Okay, so I'm writing these out so that you can see how we come about with the, the equation that you could memorize, and like I said, sometimes it's really hard to remember formulas. I'm not one that can remember formulas. I'm better to understand what I'm doing. So this time I have 1. I have 0x squared, I have 0x's, and I have 64 for a constant. So I bring down the 1, I add it up, add it up, and I get my 0. So that means f at x for this question would be x plus 4 times x squared minus 4x plus 16. Okay, so hopefully by doing these two little questions you'll see a pattern here that's happening when um, you're factoring a summer difference of cubes so if we say a cubed plus b cubed so here my a cubed would have been one a would have been one and my b would have been negative three oh, so we, we should have a difference of cubes here let's match them up okay so i have difference of cubed so what is in the brackets here so I have x minus 3, so that would be a minus b to start with, a minus b. And then we have, this would be a squared, and 3x, that's going to be what? So we have a b plus a b plus b squared. Okay, so my a was 
1, my b was minus 3. So then I have this, or sorry, it's 3, because it's a difference of squares. So b is 3, and I get that formula. And with this one here, so I have x plus 4, so that's my a plus b. So you can see they both start off with the same. So if this was a minus b, this is a minus b, a plus b, a plus b. And then you have a squared minus a b plus b squared. And those are your two formulas that you either memorize these ones or you can use your synthetic division to factor them. So let's try one from your homework assignment that's a little bit, uh, here's the number here, 1331x squared plus 1728. So it's a sum of cubes. So I know sum of cubes is going to be a plus b. So what is my a here? What's the cube root of 1331? And you should know that that's 11. There's a really cool um, YouTube video of a guy showing you how to find cube roots very easily. And so this one would be, uh, let me see, it would be 12. Cube root of 1728 is 12. Cube root of 1331 is 11. So I have, this should have been a cubed here. Why well, it says squared. 1331x cubed. So in my a plus b here, I'm going to have x. Now it's plus, so I have x plus 11. And then I have a squared, so my a is 11 squared. I'm not doing that right, am I? This should have been 11. Ah, 11x squared plus 12, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Let's find the eraser. Back up, everyone. You probably were going, Sabra, what are you doing? So this is 11x, that's my a, and my b is going to be 12. So it's the sum of cubes, so I want a plus b. So that's 11x plus 12, that's a plus b. Now I want a squared, so that's 121x squared minus a times b. So minus, ooh, I don't know what 11 times 12 is. I'm going to find my calculator fast. 11 times 12. Hmm, 132. Minus 132x and square b, 144. There you go. It's that easy. Okay, so that's the end of chapter 3. Hopefully I'll have time to do a little practice test for you. Uh, I am getting ready to go on holidays, so I might be gone for a while before I get to chapter four. Don't leave me. I'll be back. Promise. See you soon.